I'm Stephen Nixon, and I'm at 1000 Birds, their uh, sound design studio here in East Williamsburg. Laura and Andrew, the people that run 1000 Birds, have the slogan, make sound. It's what they do. I talked to Laura, just like, hey, I, I've been meaning to make a mural somewhere. I really want to do this. Uh, I love to draw letters. And so I wonder if you guys might have any sort of a wall that I might be able to paint on. We love experimenting with interactive sound art, and this mural became a great opportunity for us to tie in Stephen's graphic design with our interest in interactive technology. And so that seemed kind of perfect. I started sketching and deciding how you could might maybe chop up letters to make more than just a few sounds um, and be more of a big synthesizer on the wall. It was such a cool idea I couldn't really get it out of my head. Once Stephen had the graphic laid out, we all helped trace it on the wall and started filling it in with conductive paint. The technology behind it is called capacitive sensing, which allows us to detect tiny changes in voltage. The letters are hooked up to modified Arduino boards, so when a person touches the conductive paint, it causes a tiny spike in voltage, which triggers a sound. Because I think the most engaging murals end up covering an entire wall, uh, I didn't want just the letters to be there. Eventually, I just started kind of scribbling with a, a marker, and I came up with the idea of drawing gestural birds with a paintbrush. So it's taken a, like three weekends to paint the thing and actually hook it up to sound. It's been great. Everybody really loves it. Everybody that comes to the studio wants to see what it is, wants to touch it, wants to play with it. 